Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. And in today's episode, we're going to be getting into some technical stuff. Last episode, we got this uh, windmill, the wind turbine from Mechanism set up for some basic power gen. And that means that we can now get into some basic stuff with technical machines and things like that. So, I've got a couple technical machines that I want to make ASAP. The first one being the pulverizer. And I want to make the machine frame first. So let's grab, let's see here. I'm going to need some iron. I'm going to need some tin. And, oh, hey, quit it. There we go. And some glass. Do I have any glass? I do. Good. Okay, so let's make, well, oh, actually, we got to make the tin gear first there we go and there we go that gets us the basic machine frame um i'm gonna need some more uh do i have any more sand i really don't hmm okay well i'll make some sand here real quick get out of there there we go okay uh, let's just grab a stack of cobblestone, and we'll just do a little bit of this action right here. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Uh-huh. Okay. And we'll just do like half a stack. That should be fine. And yes, there is vein miner in the pack. You guys have been pointing that out to me over and over and over again. Sometimes I just forget it's there. Most of the packs that I play don't have vein miner in them, so sometimes I just have to sometimes I just have to be reminded, you know, these things happen. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. So, there we go. And that should get us a decent amount of sand going. There we go. Okay. Oh, I don't have any coal. Okay, well, you know what? We'll do this. One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. And that was... There we go. Okay. Let's just put that in here. And I'll get that cooking up into glass, because we'll need it for the other machine frame that we're going to make in just a second here. We're also going to need another one of these tin gears like so and then let's see I'm gonna need um, copper gold and redstone there we go let's make some copper ingots so that we can make two copper gears and then we'll make one of these redstone reception coils and then last but not least we just need a piston and two pieces of flint. And I've got tons of flint. We're all good there. Let's grab a little bit of this. Make ourselves a piston. Oh. And there we go. That should be everything we need for the pulverizer. Uh, gears, here we go. There, so we've got ourselves that going. Now, I also should probably make some sort of energy transport. I think I'm going to go with the flux ducts just to start with. We'll just do a couple leadstone flux ducts because they're easy to make. Um, do I have any lead? Doesn't look like it, actually. Hmm. And I don't know. Oh, here we go. I don't need a lot. I just need... I just need a little bit of it. Let's just go ahead and get that pounded up into... Uh-huh. And there we go. Okay, good to go. And we'll throw that into our smeltery. Oh, hello, Osmium. I didn't even know you were still there. Cool. So... Um, a few different machines that I want to be making in this episode. I want to make a pulverizer and I want to make a redstone furnace as well. So let's take a look at the redstone, redstone furnace. There we go. So we're going to need brick. 
And everything else is pretty much the same as what we just did. So let's grab another one of those, some of this, a little bit of that. Okay. Uh-huh. We'll do this. Make one of those. Make two copper gears again. Like so. And then for the brick... Ooh, I might not actually have... Oh, I do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Beautiful. I will need one more piece of coal so that I can cook it up in here. You know what? We have enough glass. It's fine. We'll get that going again in a minute here once we have our redstone actually all done. Uh, let's see. We do have lead now, so let's get some of that. There we go. That should be enough for the flux ducts. And... Let's see if I remember this recipe off the top of my head. Ooh, I need redstone. There we go. I believe it's that, right? Yes. Good, good, good. Cool. Okay, so we're just going to take a couple of these and bring them out like that. And then I'll put the metallurgic infuser there. I'll put the pulverizer here and the redstone furnace will eventually go right here. So, that's all good. This needs to finish up so I can craft the rest of that stuff. But all in all, I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're in good shape. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't mean to put those away just yet. I gotta make myself another machine frame. Like, um, so, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we got that going. Are you done? You are done. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and check on that furnace. Do I have everything I need? I think so. I just, yep, I've already got the redstone. I think we're good. So you go there, you go there. Machine frame in the middle. Brick. Redstone on top. And there we go. We now have the redstone furnace as well. I do also want to make an augment for it for food, just because it'll come in handy. And we'll, we can take it out and put it in as needed. Ooh, I'm going to need a bit more stuff for that, though. So, uh, do I have any silver? Not that I can see. And I don't think I have any silver in here, either. We might just have to hold off on that, unless I've got... Oh, here we go. I've got some silver hiding in here. Awesome. Let's cook that up as well. We'll just get this going. Mm hmm. There we go. And there we've got our silver ore as well that we're going to need. And then I need to make myself a bit more uh, clay so that I can get more bricks, because that's kind of important if I want to make that particular augment. So, we'll do that. One, two, three, four. Uh, actually, let's just do... Will it work with the hand? It will. Excellent. Sweet. Okay. And one more coal. Throw that in there. And when that's all done... Actually, let's only do eight. Let's only do eight. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff away, and yeah, I think we're in good shape. Um, we do have a couple more reward bags we can go through as well. Uh, actually, it looks like we really only have one. Anything good? Ooh, mana steel. Mana steel is actually really useful. That's not a bad find at all. Okay, um, looking for this. This is gold, so I am going to need one of that. Mm-hmm, won't do that. What else do I need? Brick. I'll need two redstone. And then I'll need two silver. Which should be done by now, I would think. So let's get some silver ingots going here. And there we go. 
And then last but not least, we just need to wait on those to finish up so I can make the brick, and then we can make this trivection chamber. Now, the reason we're making all this stuff, let me break it down. The pulverizer is basically going to take stuff and turn it into a ground-up form. So, for example, um, cobblestone would pulverize into gravel, and then gravel can be pulverized into sand and all sorts of nifty things like that. Metals, you can use it to ore double. It has a lot of different uses and a lot of very important uses that you can pretty much only use the pulverizer for. The redstone furnace is a furnace that runs on power, so I don't need to worry about coal anymore, which is really, really useful, uh, especially in a skyblock situation like this where I have very limited resources. And what the trivection chamber will do is it will allow it to double the amount of food if cooked. So, for example, let's say I have bread, right? And I can make three wheat flour into bread. So, uh, if we take that out and put that in instead, I can cook this up and it will cook into bread. And notice I had twice as much bread as I did flour. And then I can cook that up and it will turn into toast. So, from three wheat, I got 12 toast. And that's really, really crazy. That's like amazingly awesome uh, because it means that I can get quite a bit of food with pretty limited resources. Like this, for example, these right here will last me a pretty long time. I can just get all this stuff going. There we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot that's enabled in this pack. You take damage if you walk over those. Don't have that in Expedition, which is the other pack that I play that uses magical crops. Um, now this, we can do the same thing. And this redstone furnace seems to be going way faster than what I expected it to. So I'm thinking that might be some sort of tweak to the mod pack. I'm not really sure what's causing that, but I'm not going to complain about it. I mean, faster is definitely better. So I'll take it, but we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Uh, okay, so now that we have all that stuff done, I'd like to find a way to kind of automate this a little bit. So if we grab um, let's make a few chests. Let's just make like four chests and we'll put one here and then I think I want this augment as well, which isn't super difficult to make once again. So let's grab, let's see, what was in this? Uh, two iron, redstone, and glass. Okay. So let's grab, I'm just going to actually turn, oh, come back you. I'm just going to turn all of those into iron ingots, I think, because I'm going to need it. So we'll make this pneumatic servo. And then we put that here and surround it as if it's a hopper. And now we have this auto, uh, integrated hopper apparatus augment, which basically will allow me to pull things from chests at my will. So if I come up here and put that there, and then set this, the top, each one of these represents a side. If I set the top one to blue, which means it goes to here, it will automatically pull from this chest without any sort of other thing. So for example, if I put um, a piece of wood in there, it will pull into here and pulverize into sawdust, which was kind of totally a waste of resources right there, but that's whatever. You know what? It was for demonstration purposes. It's okay. Uh, let's put you in there where you belong. You go there. And as for seeds, I'm not really sure where I want to put seeds at this point. I need to kind of figure that out. Um, arrows and stuff goes in there. You're technical related, so you go there. All in all, pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at our quest book real quick and just see. I think we're relatively close to a few things. The gold chest, for example. Eight gold around an iron chest. So, let's see if we go like that. And like that. We can go make ourselves an iron chest. Surround that with gold to make a gold chest, and that will let us claim this reward. And then we can actually go diamond chest, which is still pretty easy. 
Um, I need glass. Here we go. And that is done like so for the diamond chest. That'll get us another reward bag. And then I can do a crystal chest. And I don't remember the recipe for the crystal chest off the top of my head because it's not actually an upgrade for the diamond chest. It's the same amount of stuff. But it looks like you just surround regular... Um, yeah, this this should work. Okay, so let's put this... Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. Come back, you. Put that here. Let's just smelt up this stuff. Wow, that redstone furnace is insanely fast. Considering this is a basic level furnace, like, I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I'm not going to complain about it. There we go. Got the crystal chest, and that will let us claim one more reward. So now we have three reward bags. We got a Basil's Rod. We got Moon Turf and Mars Surface Rock, and we got some more Basil's Rod. I don't really know what some of that stuff is even for, but you know what? Whatever. It's okay. I'll take it. It's fine. Uh, oh, and we got an Obsidian Chest. Uh, I don't think I want to place that down, though, in case I can't pick it back up again. Oh, oh, I'm falling. I'm falling. Let's, let, let's not fall. Get, get, get up. Okay. Whew, that was close. Wow. All right, so I think we're in pretty good shape, and I've done, honestly, pretty much everything I want to do in this episode, so I think we'll finish off the episode by opening up one chance cube and hoping and praying that it doesn't result in us dying. Um, because last time it didn't go so well. It, it really didn't. Uh, actually, you know what I would do if I was smart? I would make a little area that's just for chance cubes. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll put it uh, maybe off in this direction. We'll just make like a little area over here. Like so. Mm-hmm. I think that's probably far enough away. And let's go, let's make it like a nine, well, actually, this will be bigger than a nine by nine. That's okay. One, two, three, four. Um, what is it? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then we would turn. So I'm going to get this done, guys. And then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. I've got everything here ready to go. For the sake of being safe, I think I'm going to dump all of my important stuff into other chests and things like that, because I don't particularly want to lose all my stuff if I get a nasty chance cube that, like, puts me off the edge. I'll keep this, this pick, because it's whatever. Uh, ooh, and actually... I'm also going to deposit my mithril armor and take iron armor instead because you never know what you're going to get in these chance cubes. They have a tendency to do all sorts of nasty things if you're not careful. So let's give this a go and actually let's put the quest book away as well. The rest of this stuff I can replace very easily if I die. So. And here we go. Ooh, we got a bedrockium drum. That is amazingly useful. That is amazingly useful, actually. That will come in handy like, oh man, that will definitely come in handy. Let's do one more. Let's do one more just, just to be safe. It's been a couple episodes since we've done one, so we'll do one more. And here we go. Okay. Okay. So it's an ender crystal. It's a dragon crystal. Um, we're just going to leave it be over there. Until I... Actually, you know what? We're going to destroy it. We're going to destroy it, but we're going to do it from a distance where it's safe. There we go. Whew. Oh, that's now a spawnable area. Okay. You know what? 
It's fine. It's okay. We're fine. We're totally fine. Let's grab our cobble. We'll head over there. And we'll make things safe again. There's only like one spot on the entire thing that's actually spawnable. And as long as I place the torch down here really quickly, we're good. Alright, so there we go, guys. I think that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.